Hello? Let's make a painting here now. Man, my hands are cold. Boo. And the water is even colder. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, is that level? Yes, it is. Okay, as usual, water on the paper. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna take any paint from the tubes. Uh, I'm just gonna take whatever I have on the palette. Try not to build it up too much up there. I always feel like the first painting that I'm doing for today, uh, not for today, but in general, the first painting I'm doing uh, during the day is always like more, uh, not bothering, uh, if that makes sense, more non-subjective, uh, not objective, not subjective. Uh, Mm, clouds, I would let it develop. Put a little bit more here, a little bit more here. I will take some of black paint. Oh, well, not some, I just want, I want like very heavy, very contrasty. Uh, I want to use the momentum uh, when it's still blending pretty well with the rest of the of the, uh, with the ground, pretty much. I want this effect. And that's why I'm gonna put more water. And uh, I need a high contrast. So later I can even um, blend it, for example. The sky is fine. Mm, I will use a little bit of the okra. Well, I'll just call it light brown. A little bit, not too much. Um, because I'm going to put uh, just a little bit here and here. And now I'm going to go with a clean brush and help it um, with water, of course. Help it uh, blend. That should be fine. Mm. And I'm going to do the same thing, repeat the same thing, but this time with orange. Let me take a nice orange. Almost nice. What I have a here, here. Anyway, so very freely again, nothing too much. There we go. I want to have this orange here. And uh, basically I'm following the clouds at this point. Um, whatever clouds are shaped. Take water, clean up, take a little bit of water again. And just help it, um, help it develop. Okay, so now here, here I'm gonna take the multiple brush and I'm gonna go down. Once I do this, I will take it like this and move left, okay? Now I'm gonna take the palette knife and create some kind of, you know what, I can, I can create a road here. I can build it up a road. I will build up a road right here. So the road is coming from here. And when I say build it up a road, I really mean like just pushing the bend on the side. Uh, there we go. And I, of course I'm pushing it multiple times so I can remove all the lines. Now once I push it like this, it will, it will, it will uh, blend a little bit down, but not too much. So. Uh, it's not going to be a big deal. And here is making a turn. And here I'm just going to blend it. There we go. We can clearly see the turn now. Okay. Good. Um, I still think I'm, I'm going to need a little bit of green. Mm. I'm going to use a little bit of green uh, to put uh, over here. Um, that's going to help with the perspective. Uh, there we go. Um, so we can have like uh, the sky, the horizon, and then we have a mid-ground, which runs the road. And then on the mid-ground, um, it's going to be some grass going into the foreground. Um, we're going to create this uh, a perspective, build it up that perspective. Um, and of course, here I'm going to make it lighter. The grass is going to be lighter and lighter. Uh, 
Not everywhere. There you go. Mm, should I put a little bit here? And a little bit of the grass is going here. Nah, that's fine. I don't I don't think I need this up here. That's totally fine. Now the problem here is uh, what I'm gonna put here. Now I do like this spot, uh, this uh, dark spot over here, and I'm gonna emphasize that a little bit. And I'm gonna turn it to a building. And uh, I'm gonna turn it to a building well, simply adding uh, some sharp edges. So it's look more like a artificial, um, artificial. Uh, shape than a natural one. I'm going to take the palette knife and I'm going to push down. Now when I push down I pretty much damage the paper but doing so I control the water so it's making like a little gap a little uh, gap between the the both sides so it's, it's very firm. Um, so uh, yeah that's how you can create the the, control the water if it's very wet you can make very sharp edges uh, all right so this is good uh, I like the building like this here I'm gonna use some of the black from here and here that's fine now I'm gonna make a post like this is some kind of post and I'm just gonna push it there you go so now we have this post this one can be the post for the Actually, for, for some kind of, you know what, why not? Why not go on with this? <clears throat> I would just push down here. Uh, post for uh, electrical post or like a phone or something like this. That's, that's totally fine. Uh, should I put one more here? Or that's going to be enough to cross the line. Let me see. I will take black paint and I'm going to put it here. Now... Uh, if I take it with the, if I take it with the, um, with the brush, it's going to be. Pardon the interruption, teachers. You may now do your. Uh, here I'm. I'm going to put some wires, but if I use the, the brush, it's gonna, it's gonna create, it's gonna blend over, but if I, if I damage the paper, and then I tip. Uh, dip the 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 tip of my palette knife in the black paint. It will be more controlled because again we create this gap, and then we repeat it. Should I put one here, going like this? No, I don't think so. This is fine. Maybe I should put one here. Maybe I should take it and put a, a pole here. Now this pole is coming from somewhere else. Uh, it's out of the frame. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally acceptable. And of course, some of the paint. And there you go and it's going down here now i want to make some grass i don't want to make too much because our main focus is going to be the the electrical lines uh, here and uh, now i feel like maybe i should put a couple of birds uh, waiting for food or something going on here you know how they're sitting pardon the interruption teacher Couple of birds here and here and here. Um, now I do want to put uh, one birdie here, um, and this is going to be our suggestion because we have uh, we have these dots here. Come on, it's just, I call the birds, but they're in reality they're they're just uh, they're just dots, and then one buddy here. Uh, they're just dots, uh, but uh, I will take some black paint and uh, at least the the one here, I will just make them more um, understandable what they are. 
so you can imagine the rest of it. And there we go. Watercolor, abstract, landscape.